So I was going to make a normal bite-sized video for you guys this week. It's Saturday, and that's normally when the bite-sized filming magic happens. But this morning, I had to go into lab. I figured that was a pretty genuine grad school experience, and so I figured, since I was a little low on time, I would combine the two things into one video, because multitasking and time management are important grad school skills. So I've been trying to think a lot lately about what I can and cannot share with you guys about my lab experiences here. So a lot of people were saying that they really wanted me to be able to take the camera into lab with me and I would love to do that. But it's a really interesting thing with science that if you have unpublished data, a lot of times you don't want to talk about what you're doing in lab or what's going on or sometimes even what you're looking at because you don't want somebody else to come in and scoop you and grab that data and publish before you do. So while science is very collaborative, Oftentimes you want to, you know, hold your cards a little close to your chest as you're running some pretty cool experiments and not tell the entire world. So for the moment, I'm still trying to figure out what levels of information I can share with you guys in the department in my specific lab, and so I'm trying to be very, very cautious. So currently I'm in my first rotation. Now what this means is that in my program, I try out a few different labs before I choose one in which to conduct my thesis research. So at the moment I'm on my first rotation, I'm trying out my first lab, and the protocol I was doing today is a very super standard protocol. So I don't feel weird telling you guys what I was doing because tons of labs all around the world do this. So what I was doing is known as a mini prep. So I had a gene of interest that I wanted to have sequenced. So what I did is I cloned it into some E. coli and then last night I grew up this E. coli. So this morning I spun down my cells, I grabbed some E. coli, and then I mini prepped them. So I split the cells open, I released all of their contents of the E. coli into the solution, and then I washed that solution and filtered it until all I had left was the DNA. Now I can send that DNA off to be sequenced and I can get a very confirmed sequence of my gene of interest. Now I didn't film a ton of it because I was actually doing work and wanted to focus on that instead of just filming, but this rotation is going well, but it's not the only thing that I'm doing in grad school. So I'm also taking classes, and at the moment for my first quarter, I'm just sort of easing into grad school. The courses are sort of big and broad. Next quarter, I think, is going to be a lot harder. It's going to be a lot more specific genetics courses. Um, but at the moment, I'm just sort of taking a survey of grad school, and I'm trying not to take for granted that this semester is a little bit more chill because at the same time, I am also writing an NSF proposal. So while my department will pay for my stipend and my tuition for the first couple years, they do encourage outside funding, which makes total sense. So I am applying to the NSF to give me money, and this is kind of a stressful process. I have to write a personal statement talking about how awesome I am and how, you know, I've done research in the past and I'll do research in the future, and I do outreach to things, and so I should be awarded money, and that's always kind of an awkward thing to write. And I also have to make a research proposal, and so I proposed an idea and experiments I would do to sort of, you know, conduct this through my grad school career. Now, that doesn't have to be the actual project that I do, but it's sort of an exercise to show the NSF that, you know, yes, I can come up with a project and I can think like a graduate student. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now, is I'm taking classes, I'm rotating in a lab, I'm writing this proposal, which is kind of stressful, but that's what it is. That's what my grad school experience is at the moment. And let me know in the comments down below if you guys think this kind of video update of what I'm doing at the moment is interesting, because some of you did say that you wanted it, but I don't, I don't know, this is just my life. I don't know if that's interesting to you. It's scientific. Kind of, it's talking about the actual process of being a grad student, but I don't know if anyone's going to want to watch this. So let me know in the comments down below. So just about eight weeks into living in California and about five weeks into the real reality of grad school, things are going well, I think. There's been a lot of tea in my life. Tea has been helping me get by as well as a little bit of chocolate and lots of Skype calls with friends from home. And so things are good, things are going well and I'll keep you guys up to date on how I am progressing through the world of science. Go forth, do science.